Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. And I am here to do your reading for September 2nd through the 10th. This is for a sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. We're going to get a couple of these and we're going to clarify them at the end. I don't know why I'm flipping these ones. I will usually only flip those, but it's such a habit of flipping. Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Now, this could be romantic separation or a uh, separation from your job, okay? Just saying. We're going to clarify these cards at the end. We're going to get one more for Aquarius for this first week of September through the 10th. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Interesting. Now, I have to show, I just happened to see the bottom card. And it correlates with this card. Okay, so I have to show it to you. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. You have to love yourself to find true love. That's that's the deal. That is the deal. Okay? So, you may have to separate from something to find your true love. Just saying. You may have to separate from the job that you hate to find the job that you're going to love. You know, that there's so many messages in these cards. This could be relationship-oriented uh, as well. You know, you may have to separate from the wrong one to find the right one. But you may not be able to do it because of your finances. You know, there's all different... It could be because of your career. Maybe you share a home and you work out of your home with this partner. There's so many reasons. There's so many reasons. Aquarius. Getting unstuck, getting un this this would correlate with separation. It would. This is about freeing yourself from something, seeing things through uh, new lenses. It's like, yeah, I see, I see. Um, you may be ready to take a risk. You've been sacrificing yourself in a situation that. probably was keeping you a little uncomfortable. You've been in an uncomfortable situation. We're going to get these all pulled out here. Ooh. Could have been dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Virgo, we have Pisces, Virgo, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, everybody's here. Everybody's here. Wonderful. So, what do we got here for Aquarius? Somebody is not feeling good. Not feeling good about their finances. Not feeling good about their financial situation. I mean, this card and this card, the second card, the Nine of Pentacles, you may not be feeling like you're making enough money or you may feel like you're losing money or that you're not, you're scared to be alone. That could be a signifier as well. You know, you maybe you're afraid to leave a situation because of money. You know, it feels as though money is absolutely a factor this week. There is fear of growing old alone, huge fear, okay, with these two cards both these cards right together and that may be what's keeping you stuck in a situation this is for couples say if you're in a coupled relationship you may be stuck in this relationship because for one it's going to cost you money to leave and for two i don't want to grow old alone you know so you know that's that's an issue here 
I feel like you're thinking about it though. You are thinking about, you know, how you're going to make your move. But right now you're going resentful. The Queen of Swords is you in reverse. It's going resentful with each passing day because probably whoever you're dealing with, whether this is at work or at home, they're not putting in a lot of effort. There's no teamwork here. There's no teamwork. So you're coming up with a plan in your head or externally or internally. You're coming up with a plan. You're in planning mode right now, okay, to find something more truly fulfilling. It feels as though this is a card of forgiveness, the judgment card. It really is. It's a card of karma. It's a card of truth. So with the Knight of Wands reversed, you're reluctant to take action and follow your truth. That sucks. You're dealing with with the with the King of Cups reverse. You're dealing with somebody who doesn't have good intentions. You, this person is cold and withdrawn, and they're closed off emotionally. And I think that maybe you know, and that's only hurting both of you. It is because you're growing resentful because you're not receiving the emotional support, whether it's at work or at home. You're not receiving the emotional support that you desire. You're getting bored with it, you're getting sick of it, and you're probably looking outside. You're probably looking outside the relationship, whether it's at work or at home. You're looking outside. It's like, I, know, I want more. I want something more. I'm not fulfilled. That's what I see here. And I feel like you guys are, are in the stages of planning. Okay? You're in the planning stages right now. You're going through some sort of awakening, and that awakening, you know, this is a time of enlightenment, okay? So this awakening, enlighten, awakening and enlightenment here, which are kind of like the same thing, awakening and enlightenment, okay? You're changing. You're not the same person. The old habits that you used to work with are being released with the judgment card, okay? You maybe feel feel like you're going through a midlife crisis, and you may well be going through a midlife crisis. As you evolve, you change. You know, as you grow older, you change. But you and and, uh, and you have to face fears along the journey. So I feel like at this point, one of your biggest fears is is doing it on your own. You know is is letting go of something that is perhaps financially stable whether it's the job or the relationship but that's all it is i don't see any love in these cards it's either the job you don't love or the relationship you don't love some there's not love there may be some comfort financial comfort But you're dealing with a person, whether it's a man or a woman or a boss or a father or whoever it is. It's somebody that is very authoritative, very controlling, very, it's almost like this person is an angry person and you can't win. You cannot win no matter what you do because they refuse to let you you know they this this person is very dominant they're the dominant they're the boss and that's the way they see it and that causes a problem for you you're dealing with a very bossy individual and it feels like i mean this is the the completion of a chapter it is the world card is a lesson has been learned now the world card comes out when the fool which is the zero has gone through the whole journey and he's reached the end of this journey he's reached I mean he's gone through every card in the deck every single card from from 0 to 21 he's gone through every single phase therefore he's at the end and it's time to start again it's time to begin a new journey that's where you're at but you're going to have to stop protecting yourself. You're going to have to stop being controlled. And you are going to have to dominate your life and not let whatever, whoever, whatever this situation is control you. Right now you are being controlled by a situation that is over. 
You know what I mean? It's done. It's done. And you are reluctant. You are reluctant to, to drop the, the battle, to give up on it. But if you did, you'd feel instant relief. Instant relief by giving up this fight. You know, you may be tempted to stay for materialistic reasons. <laughs> Not funny, is it? Codependency. That's an addiction. The devil is codependent, materialistic, ego, lies. Not love. People will stay in a situation for, you know, this is... This is a card of the shadow. I mean, it's the shadow side. In some decks, it's labeled that. They will stay in a relationship or a job to fulfill society's demands. What is everybody going to say? I'm going to lose so much. You know, instead of honoring their heart, they're honoring, honoring everything but their heart when the devil comes up. Including their fears. Their fears are driving. The devil's playing on those fears, playing on them. They're playing on your strength. <laughs> the king of wands is represented by Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Leo is the card of strength. This card is reversed. The devil, it doesn't have to be a person, is an energy that steals your strength, your self-esteem, your self-worth, your self-love your confidence. You're dealing with a situation out of sheer desire to fulfill ego. Okay? It is. Because this is a very egotistical card. You think about lions. They're about pride. Okay? I'm not saying this is just about Leo, but I'm just saying. You know, the king of wands in reverse is, is very conceited. Narcissistic with these two cards. And it doesn't have to be a narcissist, but those kind of qualities. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I have to, the, I, I'm really worried about what everybody else is going to say if I follow my heart. Huge factor in this reading. Huge. You're not in control. Somebody else is. Your demons are in control. Whether it's coming from another person or a boss or in a situation, you are not in control here. Because if you were in control, your heart would lead the way. And your heart is unfulfilled. Your heart is unfulfilled. That's what this card means. There's lack of emotion. Emotion. You may have your heart too set on someone or something that is literally unavailable to you. You're not grounded, unstable, insecure, not accepting reality. And I'm sorry to bring you this message from the national broadcast system. Sorry, it's not the national broadcast system, but... Um, it's not practical. Somebody's not being practical. And a lot of that has to do with finances. Oh, me off. I'm doing a reading. There's an opportunity to move forward towards victory and success. If you can master your emotions, put yourself in the driver's seat and move forward, you have to find the strength. This is a card of mental strength. You have to replace that fear with faith. 
and put yourself in the lead. It's up to you to do so. Stop stubbornly hanging on to something just for security. Especially if it's not love. If you're not in love with it, if it's not good for you, if it's not fulfilling you, it's not meant for you. There's an opportunity for victory and success in the future if you take action. You have to make that conscious change. And maybe that's what you're doing this week. Maybe you're deciding to make a conscious change and take action. This is dropping what doesn't serve you. It's like done. I'm dropping it. I don't need it. Because it doesn't make me happy. And it's not well suited for me. So yeah, you got, and you may feel negative about it. This is negative thinking. Both of these cards. Negative thinking. You, this is the conscious change from negative to positive. You have to change your thoughts. You're thinking about walking away. You're thinking about leaving a situation. Take as much time as you need. Because this is not an easy decision. But there's a lot of hurt here. There's a lot of uh, mental turmoil. I'm sorry about that. I had to pit, hit pause for a minute because I have, a, I have a son that doesn't give a shit about nobody but himself. So that's where we're at. So I do apologize. Um... <laughs> there's a lot of hurt here you may feel betrayed you may not want to betray another person you've been going through a lot of mental turmoil And it's weighing you down. It's really weighing you down. So I feel like this is a week of deciding whether you are going to stay or walk away. I'm going to clarify these cards. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And I'm not going to do this reading over because I'm so far behind. I don't, I can't, I can't. So I hope that you guys can deal with this. I do apologize. I, I can't do this over. I'm so far behind. Um, everything that happens, happens for a reason. Okay. So just keep that in mind. There was some interruptions here. There was some um, distractions. There's something that needs to be removed, okay, from the equation. All right? That's a message. If something doesn't sit well with you, if it causes animosity, if it upsets your routine, it shouldn't be in your life. And it's up to you to take back control of your life. Finances and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. We're going to clarify that one. I can guarantee you that will not happen again. That's a given. Mm, a rude, an eruption, a distraction. I mean, this and there could like what just happened. That's the that is everything happens for a reason. There was a disruption, and and that's going to happen for you this week. There's going to be a disruption that probably causes an outburst, because I literally, I literally burst. I did. 
I burst. I, I just, I mean, and that's you, the Queen of Swords, and I am, I'm on the cusp, okay, of the Queen of Swords. I'm on the day that it switches over, so I have quite a bit of Queen of Swords in me. <laughs> I'm all Earth, but the other most high prominent um, element is air. All my houses are Aquarius and Libra and Gemini. My other house is most prominently so, but I am the I am a cusper, so I am I definitely am a, I'm a bull with a sword. So I'm on the day. But anyway, this is a, a disruption, and that happened for a reason during your reading, and and it was uncalled for. It was uncalled for. It was a it was a minor disruption that turned into a a a. Uh, uproar okay um so be prepared to to probably burst okay this could happen at work you may blow your you may uh lose your cool okay that's what this is so be prepared to perhaps you know have somebody not give a shit about what you're doing have no respect for you whatsoever and you blow be prepared for that separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon the only reason my son is here is because he's going to rehab on the fifth and they wouldn't take him before then so he's had to stay here for a week and it's totally and that's why i'm behind so do please bear with me i do apologize they couldn't take him to the fifth i'm about ready to rip my hair right out of my head Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Trying to regain balance, trying to regain control. It, it appears as though things are a little chaotic right now. You are trying to get to the other side. You're trying to juggle too much. You're probably trying to do too much at this time. You are probably, you know, doing everything that you can to stop a separation from happening. You know, you're, you're trying to take on too much. But the fact of the matter is, is that this separation needs to happen. It's too much to carry. It is. True love. True love. This... This is the romance of a lifetime. You, It's up to you to make conscious changes that benefit you. You have to take action to do so. This is about you taking action to bring victory and success by releasing baggage, by dropping heavy weights, by letting go of what doesn't serve you. So this is a week of probably replacing that fear with faith. It's probably speaking your mind with this Queen of Swords reversed. You may get there. May, you could get angry. This is an, this is up in reversed. This is you. You know, probably getting angry with somebody with the Tower. That's what this looks like. So be prepared, perhaps for a bout of anger. And it's funny, like I've told, and I've been saying this from the from the beginning of doing reading since I started. Everything that happens during your reading is for you. There's going to be an uproar. Be prepared to speak your mind. Strength. Magician. Ooh. You know, you guys have an opportunity for love this week as well. Okay. Could be the Leo, could be the Gemini, but there's an opportunity for a partnership that you are very well compatible with. This is... A genuine love connection it's something that you've manifested but again you have to find the mental strength to move this is strength and this is mental strength as well you have to find the strength to allow it to grow you know and this is about taking action this is and the magician is also about being willing to shed the old okay that's what the magician is the magician takes action to shed his old to bring in the new so that's what this is about. So as you shed, you bring in something new, but it is going to take strength to shed. It's going to take strength to release. It's going to straight take strength to find the power, the resources within you.
to release. There's the release. You have to release something to get to this true love, and that's the bottom line. That is the bottom line. You guys are in a situation, whether it's at work or at home, that is less than fulfilling. It's not good. There's going to be some upheaval this week. Because you're being called to head in a new direction with the chariot card. That you are. So that's what this is about. You guys have an opportunity for something that you will love. But you have to take action. You have to find the resources within you. And that's what this week is about. That's what it is about. True love, this is always around the corner, is around the corner. Whether it's job or relationship, there's a new partnership around the corner. After you find the strength to make conscious changes in your life, in your life. Fogged in. Somebody else got this one too. Fogged in. Go slow. Take time. Even if you can't see what's around the next corner, which is this, okay? I just told you this was around the corner. That's funny. Even if you can't see what's around the next corner, go forward slowly and gently. You are safe. When you take the time to go slowly, new per perceptions emerge that you can't see if you're moving fast. Move away from the rapid pace of everyday life and step into the majesty of stillness. Resist the impulse to go ahead with your first instinct. Take time to tune in to your deeper intuitions. Power is born in those times when you relax into the present moment. Sometimes the mist and fog are so thick that the traveler feels uncertain about everything. Where am I going? What am I meant to do? Why can't I see what's ahead? However, it's in those moments of unknowing that the deepest and most profound answers to life's big questions can emerge. The secret is to traverse slowly and carefully so, all not, so as not to fall off the path. Be careful. Proceed with caution in all things as you sense the best direction. Listen. Listen to the whisperings of your soul. Trust your inner voice. If something falls apart, if there is a major breakdown, don't resist it. It's a blessing in disguise. Somebody is staying in a false Commitment, a false foundation. That's what this is. It's false. It's not concrete. It's not stable. It's not going to last. It's not long term. Why waste your time there? Maybe it was long term at one time, but there's nothing. Now it's cracked. When the foundation is cracked, or say, think about the car when the when the underneath, what the hell that that's called, you know, when the frame is cracked, it's over. It's over. It's unfixable. It's time for you to find the strength to move forward. Don't waste your time. Be prepared for a uh, rude awakening of some sort. You know, an upheaval. There's gonna be a, there's gonna be a perhaps an argument that helps you to move forward. Talk to you later.